Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Dr. Ganma Soni. Here's what I bring to you all from the world of medicine. Study finds patients receiving steroids have two times higher risk of diabetes. New research presented at annual meeting of the European Association for the Study of Diabetes in Madrid, Spain has found that patients who are being treated with systemic glucocorticoids are more than twice as likely to develop diabetes as those not receiving the treatment. Glucocorticoids fight inflammation and are used to treat a wide range of inflammatory and autoimmune conditions including asthma, rheumatoid arthritis, cancers and other medical problems. While they can be very effective in decreasing inflammation, glucocorticoids have many adverse effects including increased blood sugar levels and causing diabetes. This is more likely when people use glucocorticoid tablets or injections than when used as inhalers, creams or drops. A new study by the researchers at Diabetes Trial Units, University of Oxford's Redcliffe Department of Medicine, Oxford, UK, investigated how commonly patients being treated with glucocorticoids can develop new onset diabetes. The study found that patients receiving systemic glucocorticoids were more than twice as likely to develop diabetes as those not receiving the treatment. Dr. Rajna Golubek and colleagues compared the rate of new onset diabetes in hospital patients who receive systemic glucocorticoids to patients not treated with these drugs. The study involved 4,51,606 adults who were admitted to Oxford University Hospital NHS Foundation Trust between 1 January 2013 and October 1, 2023. All were free from diabetes at the start of the study and none were taking systemic glucocorticoids. 17,258 of the patients were treated with systemic glucocorticoids while in hospital, most commonly for autoimmune and inflammatory disease and for infections. 316 of these 17,258 patients developed diabetes while in hospital. This compares with 3,430 of the 4,34,348 patients who didn't receive systemic glucocorticoids. Patients were typically admitted for less than a week. Further analysis showed that when age and sex were factored in patients receiving systemic glucocorticoids were more than twice as likely to develop diabetes as those not receiving the treatment. Dr. Golubik says, these latest results give clinical staff a better estimate of how likely new diabetes is to occur and could prompt doctors to plan clinical care more effectively to detect and manage new diabetes. While we studied hospital patients, glucocorticoid tablets can be prescribed by general practitioners for conditions such as asthma, rheumatoid arthritis and it is important that they too are aware of the link. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.